Good afternoon, it's uh, Dave here. Welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. It's um, just going to be a very quick video today, um, largely because I'm actually in the UK and it's scalding hot today. And if I have the fans on in the office, I can't actually hear um, the recording properly from my, my headset. All you get is the, the buzz of the fan. So uh, I've had to switch all the fans off and it's getting gradually hotter and hotter and hotter. So it's just going to be a very quick video today. But um, the reason I'm doing it is because a few people um, asked me after I mentioned in one of my other videos that I'd switched from mining Bitcoin with my ant miner over to mining uh, Digibyte. Um, and a few people asked me, you know, how are you mining Digibyte? And a couple of people, you know, asked me, you know, what is it? Is it worth mining? So this is just a very quick um, overview of how to kind of mine and um, whether you potentially uh, want to do that. So just initially, um, the website is just digibyte.co and um, you know, just to answer what is Digibyte, it's um, it's actually a, an older currency than people, um, many people think. It's actually been around since the beginning of 2014, but it's really just um, with a recent massive increase in, in price that people have sort of started to get a little bit more interested in it. But it has been around for a while, and uh, what makes it different is that um, it's actually a multiple mining algorithm currency. So whereas something like kind of Bitcoin uses SHA-256 or Litecoin uses the script algorithm, Digibyte is actually secured by five different algorithms. And each algorithm accounts for approximately 20% of the blocks that are discovered on the network. Um, but the network as a whole is, is, is secured by all five of these algorithms. Uh, which makes it obviously a lot more difficult to have centralized you know mining which a lot of people are quite um, concerned about with bitcoin you know the large chinese mining firms the other thing is it's more difficult to um, coordinate the 51 percent attack because you have to have um, not just a load of sha256 miners but you'd have to have script miners you'd have to have you know miners you know um, attacking all these different algorithms at once so that's the kind of basis behind the coin. It's, as I said, it's been around for a while and it hard fought, I believe, um, a while ago to multiple kind of mining algorithms. Um, it's uh, a lot cheaper than Bitcoin. There's going to be 21 billion uh, Digibyte created as opposed to 21 million uh, Bitcoin. So it's a thousand times more uh, coins. And uh, one of the nice things about it is the block uh, time is only about 30 seconds. So uh, a transaction is kind of fully confirmed in, in about three or four minutes, which is um, great for, for transactions. And um, if we just look here at the, um, um, the chart, so this is a three month chart. If I just pop back to the all time chart um, for these, but you can see, you know, back in the beginning of 2014 and, and nothing's really happened. A few blips with the price, but nothing major has happened until fairly recently, it's about April this year. And if I just jump to a three month, um, the chart you can see here. So um, in kind of April we started seeing a, a little bit of kind of movement and then in May a big jump up and then this huge jump beginning of, of June and it's um, it's settled back down a, a little bit now but it's still, you can see here, it's, uh, it's at 0 0.0294 so it's a, just a fraction under three cents at the moment and it was um, at a max of almost six or just about six cents um, about a week or so ago, a couple of weeks ago. So it's it's had a peak and it, it's um, it's pulled back a little bit, but it's still you know massively higher than it was previously. And this is why a lot of people are are interested in it. Um, but the first thing um, you need to do if you are interested in mining, first thing, same as any currency, is go to the the main website and you need to download a wallet to put your coins in. You can of course use an exchange, but I would always recommend if you're mining, you're, you're looking to uh, mine a fair number of kind of coins. You know, get the proper wallet and, and, and store it off, um, you know, offline. So um, there's wallets for Windows. There's six point thirty two bits. There's, there's Mac OS um, and Linux versions. There's also an Android um, wallet as well. But um, grab whichever one of those um, you want. Um, you know, wait a little while for it to sync, and then and then use that. If you want to get kind of uh, going quick, you can just use an address on on Exchange in, in the short term. But um, uh, I'm actually mining through. Um, a site called the Blocks Factory, uh, which is a mining port. And the nice thing about that, um, as you can see here, you've got all your five different algorithms. So there's SHA256, which I'm using, there's uh, Script, which is the uh, most commonly used for Litecoin, that's what it's most famous for. Um, and there are ASICs for both these um, these algorithms now. But the other three, so Stein and Qubit, and um, I think this is pronounced Grossel or Grossel, um, I think it's 
based on a, a Danish word, so I may well be pronouncing that wrong. But those three are asset resistant algorithms. Um, you can GPU mine them, um, which is kind of nice. And you can GPU mine them using you know, a, a recent version of SG Miner. And there are various tutorials um, online about doing that. I won't jump into that now. Most of my GPU stuff, um, as I mentioned before, I just point over to NiceHatch because it's nice and simple. But if people do want um, a little bit more of an in-depth one, I can always do a video setting up um, SG Miner to, to mine Digibyte um, via GPUs. But um, I'm actually using the SHA pool here. Um, this is the Stratum server. If you have an AMP mine or anything like that, I'll just show you here. So this is my AMP miner, and it's as simple as going to the configuration setting, putting in the URL here, so you can see right here, this is the Stratum URL, and then you've got your uh, worker username and password. And that's, it's as simple as that. So you can see here, the main pool that I'm doing. I've got my old slash pools for, for Bitcoin if it ever falls back. Um, but what you should see is the accepted ones going up. So we're at 650.445 if I refresh that, 650.448. So that should be going up fairly rapidly if everything's working okay. So just jumping back to the Blocks Factory, um, if I look at um, my stats, so this is my miner here, Wave UK at the bottom. So it's saying um, over, I think this is based over the last sort of five minutes, it's saying about 500 um, digibyte a day. Um, you can see here in the last 24 hours, I've, I've averaged 321 digibyte, and, and it's been around that uh, on a daily basis. It's about 330 a day with my and miner R4. And at current um, prices, so it's about three cents, so that's approximately $10 a day. So. It's um it's a nice point, you know, the 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 blocks are very, very quick and it's nice sometimes with a coin, you know, if you if you're Bitcoin mining still, you know, you're getting fractions of a of a Bitcoin every kind of day or you know, very tiny kind of fraction. So it's quite nice to, to switch over here and then to a coin that is, you know, generating a large number of coins. I know they're not worth as much, but you know, you're getting three hundred odd a day, that's maybe ten thousand um uh, a month. Um, so somewhere in that kind of range, so 10,000 kind of digibyte a, a, a month just with one sort of fairly modern um, SHA miner. So it's quite nice. The other thing is, you know, I think the price, you know, is is poised to go up again. We've had, you know, that initial kind of jump where it's been, you know, literally years not doing a huge amount. And then we've seen, a, you know, a very big jump and a bit of a pullback. But I, I could definitely see this going to 10 cents um, in the next kind of couple of months and even maybe sort of like 20 30 or 50 cents by the end of the year so i think it's got potential to do you know a 10 times kind of increase and i can't see bitcoin increasing 10 times by the end of the year i don't think bitcoin's going to go from you know three thousand dollars two and a half thousand dollars to twenty five thirty thousand but um i think digibyte definitely could go from three cents to, to 30 cents so i think within the short term i think there's you know a little bit more risk but i think there's some um, there's some, some really nice kind of features with it. It's been around for a while, it's stable. Um, the networks are getting bigger all the time as more people kind of move over to it as, as it become a little bit more profitable. But um, I, I think there's a real future to it. So um, I'm gonna be mining there probably for, for two or three months. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll store a few kind of digibyte, might try and get sort of 20, 30,000 of it. Um, and then, you know, I might, you know, look to switch back to Bitcoin depending on what the price is done anyway. But it, it, it's nice to, to spread the risk. But anyway, that's um, what I've been doing um, with Digibyte. I'm mining on my ant miner, but as I said, you can mine just with GPUs. And because it's got the, the five different mining algorithms, um, you know, everybody has a chance to kind of mine, you know, really no matter what your kind of hardware. So I hope that's been useful uh, for you. Um, leave me a comment if there's any more kind of questions. If you do want me to do a, a detailed video about setting up um, a GPU miner set up SG miner to mine. Um, I can do that, um, but you know there are good tutorials already out there. But you know if somebody's interested or you know you really want to help, just leave a comment below and I'll uh, try and put one of those uh, videos together. Okay, thanks very much. Um, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.